Hello again. Today we will go on to the design level and see how testing at this level contributes to success. In our design level, there will be a system design. Our job is to do a review on it. There is no code, so we can't run it. Therefore, we review it, which is a static testing technique. When we do this review, it will increase each party's understanding. So, whether it is the tester, developer, or the process guys, everyone will have the same understanding. If everyone has the same knowledge, it will help reduce the risk of fundamental design defects. So, a review of the system design will reduce the risk of fundamental design defects. Let's look at an example here. This is a customer requirement that we already know. Check window moves up within 10 milliseconds once the button is pressed. So here the window should start moving upwards within 10 milliseconds of the button being pressed. Now in design we have the following example. Say you have a scheduler task. What is a scheduler task you ask? It's just a bunch of functions that will be called up in 1 milliseconds. That is the simplest explanation. And similarly if you have a scheduler task of 5 milliseconds, then all the functions in it will be called in 5 milliseconds. Again, the same goes for the scheduler task of 10 milliseconds. All the functions in it will be called in 10 milliseconds. Now, here we have a scheduler task of 100 milliseconds. And as you can see, the developer has put the up movement task, which will cause the window to move up here. But our customer requirement had asked for the window to move up within 10 milliseconds. So the function needs to be in one of the first three scheduler tasks for it to work. As the design is right now, the window will move in 100 milliseconds, not 10 milliseconds. So the function needs to be placed in scheduler tasks with 1 milliseconds, 5 milliseconds or 10 milliseconds to satisfy the customer requirement. It's only by performing a review of this type of design that we can spot this mistake. Let's go back to our chart. Right now, we are at the global and detailed design stage. If we carry out the testing here and catch the mistake, then it will not go on to the implementation stage. We will send the correct software for the dynamic testing and the product will be a success. If we don't do the testing, then we will be sending a faulty software for dynamic testing and then we will be forced to go back two steps to find the error. I hope that it's obvious now why testing at the design level is so important. It's because it contributes to the success of the whole project. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.